Yeah, it's a very nice house. After 38 years in his Maple Grove yeah. home, the time oh, yeah. has come for Bob Carl Strand. I never end up throwing anything away. And Piles of family photos. And that's my parents on their honeymoon. This is my high school graduation picture. Stacks of old letters addressed to his mother. She saved all the letters I sent her when I was in the service. Even old golf scorecards from the time he tried to play all the courses in the state. I played 535. All of it has to go. Maybe some pictures I'll keep. And you had a board, but in the end, it's only material things. The end has been on his mind a lot. Cancer and a terminal lung disease makes a man think about the 65 years he's had and the 66th. He's not sure he'll see. I've had a good life, so I can't complain at all. Bob was an only child who never married, never had children. And then I had people come in and just take what they wanted. Most of his possessions are gone. Even the living room carpet has been stripped. Or I can move to an apartment, or I may die here. You see, Bob's home of 40 years will soon be someone else's because he's giving it away. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for being so generous. When Bob passes, Susan Haig and her team at Habitat for Humanity will prepare the house for a new owner. Well, I hope they like it. I hope they enjoy it. The one requirement that the new owner be a veteran, just like Bob, who served his country during Vietnam, coordinating B-52 bombers. So I wanted to give back to the veterans if I could. But Bob's generosity doesn't end there. You can just feel his heart is leaping out of his chest. A few months ago, Connie White Delaney, dean of the U's nursing school, got a surprise visit. The school receives many gifts. Uh, this one is just deeply touching. Bob, a graduate of the U's business school, returned to donate his retirement fund to the nursing program. If I can help a little bit, that would be good. Well, the endowment is a million dollar endowment. One million dollars. Over the years, I've been very fortunate to know a lot of nurses. Well, maybe not so fortunate to know a lot of nurses. They took care of him. Now he's taking care of them. What Bob calls his little donation provided six scholarships this year and more to come. The fact that I know they're going to be helped is enough for me. Bob may not make it to 66, but his generosity guarantees he will make a difference. I find myself very lucky.